Okay, gonna try to end some confusion for you. So, when I did the tilt versus turn, and it's been very popular, and I'm trying to describe a couple of things here. So, when I'm saying that this is horizontal and that this is vertical, there's a lot of other stuff that's happening. But when the body supports the club swinging, then the head stays on center. And the only way the head can stay on center is that the right leg has to straighten. If you keep your leg bent, then this part of the torso will turn and you'll see how my head moves off the ball. Now, doesn't mean that you can't do this because you can move off the ball here, leg is flexed and this is what people are crying about is that that's turned, right? And then, but I have to somehow get my head back on center. So I'll either slide, turn, block, and push through, right? The most efficient pivot in the world is a woman walking because you literally will completely unweight your foot. You can see how my leg's all the way up, like so. I really wanted you to see this midline. That's why you don't see like my knees to be. Right, so from here and there, that's all you do. So if you were like, I told people before, if you're standing in line at uh, say the DMV or getting a Subway sandwich, doesn't matter, you're just tired. You're gonna rest. When you rest, all your weight goes on that leg. You can pick your whole leg up. That's when you then swing the arms and the hands and the club goes over the shoulder. Right? So there's all my weight on the right. Now over here, and the weight is on the left. Now I teach people how to roll their ankles to do that, or I tell you to move your pelvis up and down. But if you just kept your head still and swung the weight, you'd see how my pelvis goes up and pelvis goes up. The legs straighten. See, when you put pressure into the ground, you're gonna put pressure into the ground, you're gonna put pressure into the ground kind of at this angle. So what that's gonna do is then that's going to make this go this way. And that's gonna keep your head on center. So there is absolutely, there's all the different forces. There's the horizontal, there's the torque, and there's the vertical. But if you make a walking motion, you'll do all three of those things without having to think about it. Now, the reason why it's critical for me to put eyeballs on you is because I literally have no idea if you are someone that literally takes their head off the ball, and so head's over here and ass is over here, or if you do tilt and think you're tilting and whatnot, but your head's over here, right? Or any of these joints with the golf club is not swinging, see? So if I take the club back for any length of time in a straight line, you'll see that my head has to move off the ball, right? So this is an attached end, this is the detached end. So when you do this, that's how you create a circle. Here we go. So if I sit there and say, okay, I've got, the, I've got this pivot going, this is good, but my wrists are not in the right spot, and you swing back, your wrists will look like that. So you have 12 joints. So all 12 have to move. So if you can maximize just the six and just do this, see I'm not, I don't have any pelvis going up or down, and I'm just making a little semi-circle. And I could still play okay just this way, but my legs and my body are only supporting a certain amount. So when I swing back a little further, you'll see that my body has to support more. So all this is, between turn and tilt and all that you wanna talk about, you, what you're trying to do is support your weight on your right leg completely. And my left leg literally goes limp. Like my knee is just completely limp. That's the only way you can get 100% weight on your right leg. If, if you don't, if you do this, you're putting pressure on your left foot. And that's when people really stink at golf. The weight goes left here. Now I've got to counterbalance this way and the weight's gonna throw me this way. The ground's gonna push you which way. So I want the ground to push me the correct way, see? So all you're doing is having a post here on the right while the club swings this way, having a post here on the left while the club swings that way. That's all we're doing, just like that. You do not have to try to skip the rock like that, you do not have to try to do any of those kinds of things. Does it mean that that doesn't work for a lot of people? It absolutely does. 
and there's all so many different variations, way more than I want to talk about on the video. That's why it's super important to either come see me in Hendersonville, Tennessee, get in line, get a golf lesson, and Zoom. I'm available, and I look forward to seeing you and helping you with your golf swing and trying to end all this confusion so you guys get better.